Okay. potential of the heart the vast potential of the heart the spaces in between us the spaces in between us the spaces in between us Joy Young Adult Chorus is a group of young people aged 16 to 29 that get together once a week to sing. We started in February of 2011 as an idea for youth in the greater Victoria area to get together and do something as a group. And we started with 12 people that first Monday night and we've now grown to having 50 to 60 people. Wow, those were the days. 50 and 60 people on stage at one time. 2015 and the Time Warp concert. Well, it, it was awesome. It was indeed. And you know, 2021 has been in our minds for a few years now. 
As we approached our 10th anniversary season, we envisioned a fabulous reunion with singers past and present. Much like a high school reunion. We had plans for a guest conductor, an alumni choir, and opportunities for socializing. And an amazing wrap-up concert bringing all of us together to celebrate this fabulous community that started in 2011. (sighs) Today, we're nine months into BC's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. It's not quite the way we thought we would be celebrating. Hmm. Finding our voice in the midst of community is an incredibly personal thing. It helps us discover who we are, and it's part of our total health and well-being. While we've come to expect big choirs and inspired public performances, this season is going to offer our singers a much more personal opportunity for their own growth. There's going to be uh, small in-person choir pods and flexible opportunities for them to engage in their own learning online. It's a great time for singers to find their own voice. Senior Joy is celebrating its 10th season, and we invite you to register today. Come check it out. A gift for you my heart would bring, the sweet release of everything. The breath I take before I sing, the spaces in between us. Sing Your Joy is not just a choir, it's a community. I'm hard of hearing, and sometimes being in a choir with lots of people, learning new notes can be challenging. But when I joined Sing Your Joy, it was never about what can't I do, it was about what we can do. It was about making sure that everyone can be a part of the choir just as much as everyone else, as inclusive and as welcoming a community as it could be. Because of that, I get to sing my joy, my love for singing and being part of a community.
this time of reduced interaction, social isolation, and physical distancing, for our singers, it's been vital to stay connected. The disappointment of being unable to finish the season and present our final Beautiful and Beyond concerts weighed heavily on all of us. For some singers, this would have been their final performance with the group. For others, it was just the start of their Singer Joy time. So from March to May, we offered weekly Zoom sessions. Our singers come from all musical backgrounds, some being very active in public school choirs or bands, others having never participated in a group activity like a choir at all. With our 10 weeks of Zooming, we provided weekly opportunities to explore vocal technique, to watch and listen to other choirs perform, to listen to our musical influencers and see how they've affected our repertoire choices and our directions. But you know, most importantly, our weekly sessions allowed us to stay connected. We heard how each of them was coping with the new normal, what challenges they were facing, where they were living with friends on their own, moving back home with some family, what they were doing to stay sane and stay grounded, how they were reaching out to friends, fellow singers, and family. Hey guys, Kaylee checking in from Edmonton. Uh, Sing Your Joy was about so much more than the music. Um, I have a group of people I am still proud to call my friends 10 years later who I met through Sing Your Joy. Um, it was absolutely an amazing place to come and sing and have fun and meet amazing like-minded people. I miss you all. Uh, I love you all.
Then see, I'm Musqua Logan Richards. I've been involved with Singer Joy for 10 years now. I went to its first concert. I've been to most of its concerts. It's been an amazing journey. I've sung in many of them. I've been involved in its COVID response choir as well on its 10th anniversary. Singer Joy is a family and I love it. Hi, hi, Gina Skomatin, Singer Joy. It's not what keeps our souls apart, but what connects and dreams us. The vast potential of the heart, the spaces in between us. With the support and encouragement of our board, we developed a plan for a hybrid season of rehearsals using both Zoom online sessions and small physically distanced massed groups of singers, we stayed connected. As leaders, doing online rehearsals means that the energy of our people gathered in a room together is missing. So the first time we heard one of our small choir pods sing was uplifting and inspiring and motivating to keep going. Can you hear any of the other parts? Okay. And hey. you, you guys in the front row. I can hear, I can hear male 
Yeah. I'm just I'm always used to being loud and conscious, <laughs> and I can always hear myself. I can hear everybody. It was wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're staying put. Physically distance yourselves as you exchange places. Let's bring the sopranos all the way down. Three and four and. I love seeing all the familiar faces and my friends and members of the choir. I love singing and I also love um, how it's such a safe place and there's a sense of community and it's just all very accepting and welcoming. Actually, last year when I graduated from university, I was looking for a way to connect with people who are my age, which you don't have um, when you're not on campus. So I learned about it from Facebook. Um, I, one of my coworkers is a member of the choir, so it said, so and so likes Sing Your Joy, Young Adult Chorus. I thought, what's that? And I was looking to join a choir or something, so I thought that's the perfect one for me. The versatility of the music and just how kind of unpretentious it is. That would be the big thing. I grew up in a children's choir that really, really like touring around the world, and it was really not intimidating, but just intense. It's just really unpretentious and fun. It's really fun. Over the fall, we were able to expand the size of our small groups slightly, allowing for a longer rehearsal time together. While still observing all COVID-19 health and safety protocols. In-house choir wave to your friends and all that. <laughs> So now, sing all, please, with Christine. Mm -hmm. Ready? Ready? And it's a bright, happy hour. Uh, One, two, three.
Joy, it's Christine and Gordon in the upper level parking lot of Mayfair Mall. And this is the place that we hope to have a combined pod rehearsal of all of you. We had plans for a single full group, yep. all 35 singers, outdoor parkade rehearsal to allow our people to hear the amazing progress they've been making individually and through those small groups. And to be really honest, so that we as directors could feel that collective energy of all of those voices once again. And we're excited about this because it's the first time that everybody gets to sing together, so we're looking forward to seeing you. Sadly, provincial pandemic conditions at the time have led to a postponement of that event until it is safer to do so. But we know when it happens, it will be amazing. Every Monday, I look forward to choir with Singer Joy. I was missing the happiness that choir brought me in middle and high school when I first joined the group. By creating a community in between our songs and harmonies, Christine and Gordon have turned what would be my least favorite day of the week into something that I consider to be an uplifting generator of joy and stress relief. I'm so thankful and grateful for all the hard work they put in for us, and I'm so happy and glad to be part of this amazing group. Hello everybody, it's Christine and Gordon and we're going to teach you a new vocal exercise today. So this vocal exercise is about uh, dynamics. It can be done as a cannon or a round, uh, but right now we're just going to teach you the basic pattern so that you know what you're doing with it. It has three different uh, vowel sounds in it. So the first is D, which is right in front of your teeth. The second is DUM. Dumb. You want to go to the mm dumb. sound. Dumb. And the third one is ya. Yeah. Yeah. So big open mouth, drop your jaw, lift your apples up. Ya. Yeah. Ah. Ya. Yeah. And a dark sound. Ya. Yeah. Okay? So it actually goes really fast, but we're going to take it slow. Some singers have commented that the ability to spend more time working on vocal technique is really helpful. During normal times, our rehearsals are focused on learning lots of repertoire and preparing for our seasonal concerts. Without those time restrictions in place, we can explore exercises that help us strengthen and improve our voices. That's a beautiful luxury indeed. Singer Joy is a community that I've strongly believed in since the moment I joined five years ago. So much so that I actually asked to be a choral representative to the board of directors. It is a community where uniquely wonderful young people can get together and feel safe and accepted with the common goal of caring about each other and producing beautiful music. We bring attention to issues that young people deal with right now, like mental health issues. And I think that's so important and necessary in the world we live in, especially right now.
If I could give one gift to you, as solid as the morning to a window pane the light shines through, the spaces in between us. The year of 2021 marks our 10th anniversary. The celebrations will happen when it's safe to do so, and they will be wonderful. Through the CRD Arts Commission, we received funding for our very first commissioned piece created for us by BC's own Brian Tate. In February 2020, we launched a second choir. 
Sing Your Joy West Shore. And through the generous support of the Victoria Foundation, we've been able to maintain and grow this group of singers. There are now Monday night, Victoria Oak Bay, and Thursday night, West Shore in Lankford, Sing Your Joy Chorus Rehearsals. Hello, my name is Peter Scales. I'm a longtime choral singer, and now in my third year as the chair of the Sing Your Joy Young Adult Chorus. The year 2020 has presented all people of the world with the pandemic challenge. In the midst of the pandemic, all choirs have suffered setbacks. All concerts were cancelled. Some choirs, including all church choirs, have shut down altogether. Several Victoria choirs went to online rehearsals. Sing Your Joy has moved bravely and carefully forward with a mix of online and in-person rehearsals. The spirit of the choir has been kept alive even during the global pandemic. As chair of the board, I want to applaud the singers for bravery, for standing alone with your voice, for having confidence in the process, and for being eager to be involved. Your lives were upended at school and work and in your social lives, yet you stuck with Sing Your Joy and continue to sing and learn about music. Bravo, singers. I want to applaud our directors, Christine and Gordon, for their diligence, professionalism, and commitment. The first nine years of managing the choir prepared them for this pandemic 10th year, and they never lost heart. They saw each new restriction as a challenge to be overcome. Thank you, Christine and Gordon. Thanks to the main funders, the Victoria Foundation and the Capital Regional District, for leaving open the life-giving money tap when all concert revenues evaporated. Thanks also to our generous private donors and supporters, without whose help Sing Your Joy could not practice and maintain their vocal art. Thanks to the volunteers who are always prepared and willing to lend a hand. And thanks to the ministers and the boards of Oak Bay United Church and Redeemer Lutheran Church in Langford, the Reverend Michelle Slater and Pastor Philip Walshine, respectively. I am confident that we will all get to the other side of the pandemic. I rest safe in the knowledge that Gordon, Christine, the board members, and most of all the singers will maintain the Sing Your Joy Young Adult Chorus, ready for the day when they can all sing together again. But my heart has found the silent love that's all around. I offer what my heart has found a symphony without a sound. The silent love that's all around. A symphony without a sound. The spaces in between us. The spaces in between us.
Come together in song, come together in dance. The life you have will never come again. Come Won't together in the chance? song. Come together in the dance. The life you have will never come again. Come together Won't in the song. Won't you take a chance? Come together in the dance. The life you have will never come again. Come together in the song. Won't you take a chance? Come together in the dance. The life you have will never come again. Won't you take a chance? Bye.